Okay, a close-up view of the 550 hex, huh? Well, first of all, we have to go to the hangar. That's the modified I-6 fly sky with the uh, lipo and the Beck driving the fly sky and then this switch lighting up all of the first person view screen receiver and recorder. You don't need them, don't have it switched off. So he's good. Then we'll go to the hangar and have a look at this guy. I'm not crazy about this style compass mast because when you uh, fold it and then redo it, the hinge is a little loose and you can see there's a little difference in how it latches up, so I'm going to go to the other style, but everything else on that works. This is the gimbal tilt. This is a capacitor to buffer the uh, 5 volt rail. This is the jumper that gets around. This jumper jumpers the input from the power module coming around from here to here and it powers it, but the protection circuit's dropping the voltage too much, so the main rail was low. I was only getting 4.7 volts on this thing, so I jumped it, now it's up to 5.3, and put a cap on it to filter it. Anyway, that's the top end. Of course, the radio's the Fly Sky little six-channel receiver, but in PPS mode, you can get 10 channels across the single white wire here. And of course the red and black are what power it. So very simple installation. The three pin connector does the entire radio to flight controller. And uh, these ESCs, motors and props all came with part of that kit. This is a, one of those Storm 32 gimbals. A little tricky to tune, but not bad. The camera is junk until I can get the good camera it's got to come from China someday. But tuning it up wasn't any problem. Anyway, uh, this is a clone of a clone <laughs> camera, so it's pretty junky. It's a pain in the neck, because every time you start it up, you've got to go through the complete menu system to get the live out to work. Not something I'm crazy about. It, uh, it'll do until a good one gets here. Anyway, video transmitter. This is a circuit board intended for a racing copter with first person view, so all the video is filtered through the board, plus it's got a 5 volt and a 12 volt back. The 12 volt runs the LEDs, uh, the transmitter, and what else have I got on the 12 volt? I forget. <laughs> oh, yeah, the gimbal. Uh, but the gimbal's running off battery right now since it's got its own power regulator. Anyway, this, this powers up, this switch here powers up that board. The Minimo SD, the on-screen display uh, board, gets its power from the flight controller uh, on the uh, telemetry link. This is the telemetry wire coming in. So it's powered up when the flight controller is up, but everything else is on this switch. And then there's an extra switch just to kill the nav lights since I don't need them in the daytime. And they are just toggle switches, hot glued in place. I put a cap, a thousand microfad capacitor, on the battery rail because the gimbal was acting up. It was a little once in a while it would come down freaking out. And the only thing I can figure is maybe I was getting some spikes on the battery rail. So I put a filter on the supply line to it. Pretty straightforward there. And back here, right now I'm running uh, the 4 amp graphenes, but I've got some 5.24 cells coming in that uh, will need longer straps. Antennas. Well, it's, uh, yeah, they're kind of 90 degrees to the 
transmitter, but I can always turn the transmitter if it's way out. There's the power board that came with the kit. I zip tied it on here so that I can pull the battery without having to fiddle with this end of it. It's all anchored there, so I can just pull it out. And, oh yeah, my hot glued in a voltage, uh, I don't know what you call it, battery checker, I guess they call them. Now I'll plug the bench battery into it. I'll just drop it in here for temporary. The way this works, when you bring in a battery, you plug it in, and my bench battery is at 12.3 volts, and of course every time you do this you have to reset the low voltage alarm. 3.3 or 3.4, your preference, and it will uh, right now tell you what your battery is doing, and then that brings up the flight controller and the on-screen display board, and guess who left a switch turned on? <laughs> okay, now only the on-screen display board is lit. And of course, oh yeah, that when it lights the back, it also lights the camera. But this is where I have to go through the two, three, four, select here. And I got to go up, 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 then select here, and then go up, up, up. No, just two. And then select there, and that puts it in transmit mode or I should say, uh, turns on the live out. So I should be able to get live out at this point. Once I turn on the back. Okay, and there's our live out. Uh, no satellites at this point. I get a little closer to the window, it might pick up a few. But there's the live out. Uh, Altitude, rate of climb, ground speed, voltage amp on the battery, uh, satellite count, HDOP and mode, and warning messages at different points. There's my compass heading of the plane, which if I turn it around, north should be right about there. Oh, the gimbal just booted up, and at this point, I've got the variable resistor A is the gimbal and that should be up that should be horizontal it's heavily buffered I haven't figured out how to get the camera to move faster yet I've got the accelerations at max but that's apparently not what it wants and if I turn that it's straight down and if I want to go straight up horizontal I just I just took a piece of zip tie and hot glued it onto the knob all it takes there's my modes, hold, uh, position hold, there's altitude hold, there's RTL. And I don't think, yeah I turned off auto because I finished the auto tune so I don't have anything programmed on that, on switch B right now. And right now uh, we got our RSSI is minus 60 dB, uh, giving me data errors at 7.7%. So, and if I go out of way so I can see that number going up and this number going down, which tells me uh, I'm losing signal. There's my uh, receiver. Uh, this guy is sending power back. He's fully lit. Transmitter is going to be right about there because that's where I've got the back set. So uh, if my uh, VCC goes down, this guy will drop out. It's not the flight battery, but uh, I have the flight battery right there. That is the quick overview of the 550. And to pull the battery, especially if you're in a hurry or something smoking, just pull it. Done. Done.